The 14c calibration curve used for dating is not a simple decrease in 14c over time. There are many wiggles inherent within it. The wiggles in 14c are due to both natural and anthropogenic processes. For example, coal and oil began to be burned in large quantities during the 19th century. Both are sufficiently old that they contain little or no detectable 14c, and as a result, the CO2 release substantially diluted the atmospheric 14 to 12 C ratio at that time. Dating an object from the early 20th century hence gives an apparent date older than the true age. The largest impact on the radiocarbon calibration curve in recent times comes from above ground nuclear testing, which released large numbers of neutrons into the atmosphere, resulting in the creation of 14 C. From about 1950 until 1963, it was estimated that several tons of 14C was created as a result of this testing. The immediate effect was to almost double the amount of 14C in the atmosphere, with the peak level occurring in 1964 for the Northern Hemisphere. This resulted in a very clear peak in the radiocarbon calibration curve as you can see here. This peak makes differentiating samples that were living just before or just after the peak quite challenging, as the same radiocarbon signature could lead to multiple different dates. Generally, wiggles in the radiocarbon curve can influence how easily it is to calibrate your samples to calendar years, and there are areas of high uncertainty and areas of low uncertainty within this curve. As a result, samples that existed around the time of this 14C peak are difficult to calibrate and date and often provide higher uncertainty dates than samples from more stable parts of the calibration curve. If you have samples from around this time, it's best to ensure you have other lines of evidence to help narrow down your results, as you may receive multiple possible date ranges.